I was colonized. And I am the epitome of colonization. And I have mastered their world, their language. I adhered to all the indentured policies of America. You will be enslaved. You will be in bondage. You will conform in education, in health, in your way of life, how you look at me. You will be confined to a square box. And I like to believe that I gave it the best because I was a good Christian. I was a good student. And I was, I did. I acted in accordance with the confinement and the indentured America as I knew it. And we always said in our lives, they hate us. We know America hates us. Choni, water is life. Water is the first gift that is given to us by the Creator. We come from the seven stars. We know that all humanity are stardust, all of us. So we maintain the story and the history of the making of water on Mother Earth. And the power that we have as women is giving birth and giving life, creating life. So we make life in water. So it's an absolute miracle of creation who we are. This first gift that was given to us um, comes from the seven stars and it's water. So water, water is life. It's a cultural um, part, big part of our culture, our teachings and um, survival, but in the bigger picture, survival for everyone. And the force of nature is natural law. And so we know that the natural downward force of water will outdo any man-made technology. And that water will eventually go through that pipeline. So that oil will eventually go through that pipeline. I am still who I am. Um, I don't fit the, the pedigree that America has created for eligibility to be an Indian. I'm a woman who stands by the water, woman who loves the water. And those are my given names for my life struggle by my people and my family. We have the thunder beings, and the wakia oyate, who are the rain, the snow, the thunder, lightning, what people pertain to as weather. So the wind is the female and she likes to play. She's mischievous and she doesn't abide by any rules of anyone. So she is the telltale of climate change. She's the eye of the hurricane. She's the circle in the tornado. She's a um, predictor of what's to come. And we have to listen to her 
and we have to know that she's telling us, uh, giving us the warnings, the four warnings of climate change. The linear age of man is over, and it's incumbent upon the women to, to step up. Our, our crying, our oratory, and our talk is over. We are on a path for action, so it's really incumbent upon survival instinct for us to create a world that is livable for our grandchildren. But it's a new threshold for us because it's now about humanity, and we have to be the voice for that, the forefront. America is um, a foreign word, Amer, to love, rica, riches. So there are times in my life when I was a spoiled American. I like the Coca-Cola, I like the taxi cab, I like the, the lift, the elevator. There's no rica left. There are no riches left in America. Uh, it's become a secondary country. What it represented has been plundered and exploited and destroyed. We are Dakota. That is our nationality. That is who we are. Mie ma Dakota. We have freedom in our DNA. We have freedom in our DNA. But we are declaring our freedom in our own territory. And America has to secede from us. As time went on, from the day we marched in April 1st, we created Sacred Stone Camp. By August, there were over 10,000 people who had come. And there were over 416 nations from this country and Canada who came, who brought their flags, who brought their pipes and their spirituality and joined us. So that, along with people from all over the world, they were brought here by our ancestors and all the Waki Oyates who left because they are the warriors who were here at one time and went to the spirit world and now they are the wind, they are the clouds, the lightning, the thunder. Those are our ancestors, and they came. And there were six snowstorms. It was a cleansing, and everyone had to stop in their tracks, no matter who we were. The most advanced warrior in the front line had to stop. The DAPO engineers had to stop. And only the Wakia Oyate have that power and glory and strength to stop. So it was a time of sharing, a time of giving to the world our secrets and our mysteries and our prayers and our peace. The youth, you are the seventh generation. You have been allowed to have a life and find the principles and standards of humanity at the highest level, and that you have an obligation to carry forth all that you have learned and all that you have been taught, and your love for the land and the water and the air and all the living things that we are responsible for. You are responsible for that. That is a task that you have to carry forward so that you ensure the seven generations to thrive that you are responsible for. You are the seventh generation. And now you have to carry that torch, that sacred fire that we have lit at Ochetishakoi. And you have to ensure the water is there for life and to always acknowledge the second gift of the stones who are ancestors and carry those principles forward for all of humanity. 
That's my message. So I'm done. <laughs> Toka shela toka heya chewa ki ayo mita ku yeb wanik ta cha chewa ki Oh, we talk to you lastly. Thank you. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>